This video is sponsored by patrons of Alan Cadiz. To watch the entire video and more no-nonsense, straightforward, instructional wing foil videos, join the team at patreon.com slash Alan Cadiz. Aloha, wing foil enthusiasts. In this video, I want to cover a few different topics. The first is geared for novice wing foilers who are getting up on foil for the first time. The second is applying the same logic to jibing. The third is a jibe that incorporates a different technique to transition the wing from one tack to the other. Some people are afraid to learn to foil for fear of falling on the foil, a legitimate concern. So let's look at what causes this type of fall. So let's look at the foil. It generates lift. The front wing is lifting up, the back wing, the stabilizer is pushing down, but together there's force up through the mast lifting the board. Now it's important that you trim your weight fore and aft. If it's too far in the front, you're going to stick to the water. If it's too far in the back, you're going to overfoil. So you're constantly trimming the weight fore and aft. But it's also equally important to keep your center of mass directly over the foil. So the foil is lifting up, gravity is pushing you down. And if they're equal, you stay centered over the board. But often, as a sailor, you have another force that the sail is pulling you laterally. So you need to compensate by leaning back against that pull. And when the board is flat on the water, you have the stability of the ocean so you can put lateral push on the side of the board. But as soon as it comes up on foil, you don't have that stability and any sideways push is going to cause it to, in this case, flip away and you fall towards the foil on your bum. If you're leaning on this side of the board, that is if your center of mass is over here, remember the foil is lifting up, gravity is pushing down, you're going to end up falling this way. If you're a windsurfer coming to this sport, like my old buddy Thor, you already have the sailing skills to push the board up on foil. You can see his classic windsurf stance here, but as soon as it comes up on foil, he is no longer centered. In windsurfing, you lean back against the sail to drive the board laterally onto a plane. As foilers, we do the same thing to push the board up on foil. But as the board begins to foil, one of two things must happen to keep your foil, board, and mass aligned. The first, as the board begins to foil, you have to minimize the lateral pressure on the side of the board by getting forward and centered. The second, as the board begins to foil, lean the board over in line with your body basically banking the board as you come out of the water. And by doing this, foil, board, and body mass will be aligned. As a beginner foiler, you're probably riding the board with it still on the water. And with the wing pulling you, it's driving the board along. That is, as you lean back against the wing, you're putting lateral pressure on the board, driving it ahead. And that's fine until the board starts to foil. When it starts to foil, you lose the stability of the ocean on the bottom of the board. And now with the water level here, any sideways pressure and you can flip the board over. Jackknife, scissor, lawn chair, there's all kinds of different names, hinge. Real simply, you're trying to keep your mass, your body mass, directly above the foil and in line with the mast. Unlike windsurfing, where you're pointing your toes to keep the board flat, in foiling, you're flexing your foot to keep your ankles at a right angle to the board, or that is, your body mass is always over the top of the board, and the top means at a right angle too.
one of the things that's going to help you stay over the top of the board is better control of the wing. Having a good feeling for sheeting in and out as well as positioning the wing on the plane is going to give you better balance, better control. So if you come to this sport with little or no sailing background, it's a good idea to find a place where the wind is relatively steady and practice sheeting in and sheeting out as well as adjusting the wing on the plane. Trimming the sail is continuous. You must adjust the wing to compensate for changing wind strengths and direction. So to stay aligned with your foil, you'll need to be able to control your wing, both power and direction. In previous videos, I've talked about different skills to practice on the beach. It's worth the time to do this. It'll pay off in the water. Now let's apply what we just learned to jiving. That is keeping the foil, board, and body mass in alignment. But now let's include the wing. To see the entire video and become a sponsor, please join the team at patreon.com slash alancadiz. And I'm going to give that report in this month's free ride edition. With that, I want to say thank you for watching and stay tuned for more action after the credits. And know that no old buddies were harmed in the making of this video. Welcome back to another free ride session. I filmed this last month when we were working on heel side tacks, tacking 201. So on the inside I was doing my heel side tacks and on the outside I was practicing my Heineken jibes. Now what I've learned about this technique is it is that the visibility is much better than a regular jibe. When the timing's right you can do a tighter radius turn that's really positive 